Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Fitchick 777 and today I'm coming at you because we are going to be learning the third applique in this crochet series. Now this is actually the fourth video because the first video, as I have been saying on every video, is learning the stitches and I will have on every video I will have the links to all the other videos so if you've missed one or whatever you'll be able to go and watch all the other videos and kind of keep in touch and learn to make all these appliques, okay? Um, and today we are going to be learning the butterfly. So I've got this cute little butterfly here all right this is made with the size e hook as i have been doing on on all the applique series so far and then i'll show you a couple more i've made there's this cute little aqua colored butterfly oopsie and then i've got a cute little variegated butterfly and these are worked with using the d hook okay and then a smaller size thread but for the purposes of the applique we'll use a larger size crochet thread and a larger size hook so it's easier to see okay so I'm going to set these aside and move my sign out of the way so we can get started okay and I'm gonna apologize right now because I'm not gonna be able to fast forward through this video and edit through it and fast forward for you if you'd like to fast forward please go ahead but you're going to pretty much see every stitch I haven't done anything ahead of time so we're just doing a start to finish here okay so the first thing we want to do is make a loop to get started and for those of you that are beginners if you need to please link down below to the first video um, if you've done that and we need to kind of refresh your memory here we go so you're going to take the short end lay it over the long end and then you're going to take your long end and pull it right through the loop okay and then you've made a loop on your hook okay and then you're going to pull the long end to tighten it we're going to get our size e hook like I said onto our little thread loop there and pull it tighter still okay all right I'll move this out of the short thread out of the way for a minute um, to start this butterfly we're going to need to chain 10 okay and again to refresh your memory you're going to yarn over you're going to twist and grab that yarn and pull it through the loop on the hook okay there's a one chain again yarn over twist grab that thread pull it through the loop on your hook there's number two. Let's yarn over, twist, grab that thread, pull it through the loop on the hook, okay? So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to form a circle, okay? So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your hook and you're going to insert it on the first chain that we did near that little knot, okay? You're going to insert it on the first chain on the hook. Okay, so you're going to get right in there. Sure I am now that I'm on camera. Get it right in there. There we go. And you're going to yarn over and you're going to grab your yarn. You're going to twist it. You're going to pull through. And then you're going to take that first loop and you're going to draw it through that second loop. And now you've made a slip stitch. Okay, and now we've got a circle. Now, the remaining stitches on this butterfly we are going to be working through the center of that circle, okay? We're not going to be working in any of these stitches. We're basically going to go through the center. We're going to come up and around and back through the center. Up and around, come back through the center, okay? Nice and easy like that. Now, if you can, for the first um, you know, few stitches, try and hold the short edge next to the circle that, so that you stitch around that short edge of the string and tie it in. And after a little bit, we'll kind of cut that off, okay? All right. Let's get on view. So we want to get into the center of the circle. So what you're going to do is insert your hook into the center of the circle. Okay, you're going to yarn over and you're going to draw that stitch right through the center of your circle. Okay, and basically we're making another slip stitch and you're going to take that thread that you drew through and you're going to draw it through the other loop on your hook. Okay, now we are inside the secret circle. <laughs> okay, and here we go. Now the stitches are the same all the way around, okay? And basically what we're going to be making is um, eight chain two spaces, okay? Or if you want to call it eight little mountain tops, all right? So the first thing we want to do is single crochet. So you're going to um, yarn over. Nope single crochet I'm thinking double crochet already you're going to go into the center of your hook or the center of your circle you're going to yarn over twist and draw it through you've got two loops on the hook you're going to yarn over again and twist and draw through both those loops okay now we're going to chain two chain one chain two 
and then we're going to single crochet again. You're going to insert your hook into the center of the circle. You're going to yarn over, you're going to draw up a loop, all right? Then you're going to yarn over again and draw through both loops on the hook, okay? We've kind of made a nice little mountaintop, all right? And we're going to do that again. We're going to go into the center of the circle. We're going to yarn over, draw through. We're going to do another single crochet. Yarn over and draw through both loops on the hook. We're going to chain two, chain one, chain two. We're going to do another single crochet in through the center, yarn over, draw it up. You've got two loops on the hook. Yarn over, twist, and draw through both. Okay, let's do that again. We're going to single crochet. So it's basically a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet for every little mountain peak. Okay, so single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. All right, let's do it again. Single crochet chain two and single crochet. We're coming along. All right, let's do it again. Single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Now, before we single crochet again, I think we've tied enough of this little short end through. So let's cut that off so we don't have to hold it anymore. We've tied that in enough. It's not going to fall out or be seen. Okay. Right, and how many little mountain tops do we have? See how it looks like we've got little points? We've got little mountain tops there. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going to be making three more of those. Okay, so let's single crochet through the center. Chain two. And single crochet. Single crochet through the center. Chain two and single crochet. How many did I count? Do we have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. Might not count it right the first time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, okay, one last time. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Okay, and that's bugging me because I can see that little back end poking out there. Not the best scissors. All right, so we have eight little mountain tops, okay? And now what we want to do is we want to join this first mountain top to this little mountain top. So basically, we're just going to do a little slip stitch. And you're just going to slip stitch right down in the middle of that first tiny single crochet that we did, okay? Just somewhere down in here. Just put your hook right through the near the ring, right through the stitch through near the ring. Yarn over and grab and pull through. It's going to be a little tight, and then pull that through the loop on your hook, okay? So now we're all joined together. We have eight little chain two spaces. Each of these are going to be the same, okay? So what we're going to do first is we're going to slip stitch inside. You can see how there's a little space there, see it? And see how you come around to all the mountain tops? If you kind of pull apart those single crochets, you've got little spaces. That's your little chain two space you made. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to work inside the chain two space. Okay, let me get you together again. So the first thing we're going to do is slip stitch inside the chain two space. we got to get inside that space, right? So just go right inside, find your chain two space, slip stitch. And then we're going to chain one. We're chaining one to give us some height to start into some double crochets. So, okay, so we're going to chain one. And then we're going to do four double crochets in that little chain two space. So yarn over. Put your loop, your hook through the loop, yarn over, twist, grab, pull up. You've got three loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. Let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, go back into that same space, yarn over, twist, grab your thread, pull it up, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. Let's do it again. Yarn over, back into the same space, three loops on the hook. Yarn over, twist, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. Okay, we've got one more. You're an old pro at this now. Now we want to make our scallops round, okay? We don't want to just go across to the next chain two space, otherwise it's not going to give us a pronounced rounded scallop. So you're going to go down to the next little spot, that 
first send that first single crochet we did before we chain two of the next one. You're going to go in and you're going to just do a little slip stitch. Okay? Just like that. Now we're going to find that next chain two space. We got to get inside that. You're going to slip stitch again. Chain one. And then you're going to four double crochet inside that chain two space. Okay? One. Two, three, four. Okay, want to make our scallop round. Let me get some more yarn over here. Want to make our scallop round, so we're going to slip stitch in the next single crochet. Pull it through. We're going to find our next little chain two space. Got to look for it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I slip stitch in the chain two space. Don't want to do that. Make sure you don't slip stitch in that space. Come down below into that little single crochet. Okay, slip stitch. Now slip stitch in the chain two space. I know it's kind of confusing, but it'll once you start moving, getting three or four of these down, you'll get it. You're going to chain one and double crochet four into that space because you're working in such a tight area. So you've got to make sure that you find your, your right spots. Three, four. Okay, we want a single crochet. We want a slip stitch down in that little single crochet. Right down in a stitch in there somewhere. There we go. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Got to look for it, but it's a pretty easy pattern. All right, slip stitch into that chain two space. Chain one and four double crochet. I think the hardest part of this pattern is, you know, finding all your little, there's tiny little chain two spaces. Three, four, slip stitch and do a single crochet. You could basically, I guess the way you can do it, you know how you single crocheted, you finished your stitch up, you single crocheted, you did a chain two and you single crocheted, then you single crocheted again and then a chain two and a single crochet. So in between those two single crochets, that's kind of where you can do your little slip stitch. Okay? just somewhere in there and then slip stitch in the chain two space and chain one and four double crochets. Get some more thread here. How many have I done? Two? Thank you. Doing good. We're almost there. Okay. Slip stitch in that little crochet. Slip stitch in the chain two space. Chain one and double crochet. You got this. You got this good. Oopsie. Till you lose your stitch. One more. Some more yarn. Okay, single crochet in those single crochet or slip stitch in those single crochets. Find your chain two space. Slip stitch. Chain one and four double crochets. Two. Three, oopsie, and I lost it again. Three, four, four, keep losing it because I'm on video. <laughs> okay, slip stitch again. Find your chain two space, slip stitch. I think this is our last one. Chain one. Four double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three, last double crochet, four, let's make sure we got eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep, okay, and then what do we do again? We slip stitch right down in between the center of those. Bring it on in, just find a little spot in there somewhere and slip stitch. Okay. All right. Now, let's cut that off. All right. And then what I want you to do is take your little short end. We're going to finish it and pull it through and tie it nice and tight. Then we're going to take that little short end. We're going to flip this over, take that little short end, and we're going to hide that, okay? I'm going to take your little uh, crochet hook and you see how there's these long threads here, part of our double crochets. Take your little crochet hook, tie it through. And I know a lot of you guys keep hearing this <laughs> on all the videos, but we might have someone new watching that hasn't watched the other videos, right? Okay, and then you're going to yarn over and grab that little short thread and you're going to pull it through all those little loops you just wove your hook through. And sometimes it's a little tight. through there and grab it and pull it through. I've lost it. And sometimes you gotta do it again. Alright, let's get it through there. Get it, wave it right in, twist it, pull and grab through. Sometimes you kinda grab other threads. I a lot of times will switch to a smaller hook so it just makes it easier. There we go! Okay, and then we've weaved that in, so let's just tie out or cut off that excess. Okay, now before we go to that flower, I want you to take a piece of your string you're working on, pull it off of your um, off of your skein, and just cut like a nice little long piece. You know, doesn't matter five six inches. You don't even need that much, but just kind of cut off a nice little chunk. Okay, so now we've got this kind of funky little wrinkled looking flower. So straighten it out, kind of unwrinkle it. Stretch out the petals a little bit, okay? Now, see how these little scallops, they look like they're facing you, right? It looks like the little chains are kind of curled towards you. Flip it over, okay? Flip over your little um, flower, okay? And then what I do is we need some antennas. So I bought these at like Joann's, okay? These little stamens, so grab one of these little stamen. You can buy these anywhere, basically. And then I take the little stamen and I just kind of fold it in half a little bit. Okay, set that aside for a minute. Let me grab my glue gun. All right, we've got it right up here. All right, so let's pick our flower back up. We've got the wrong side facing us, the right side. Turn it over, you've got the wrong side. And what we're going to do is we're going to just fold this in half, okay? You've got two petals down here and two petals up here and kind of two on either side. So you're just going to fold it in half, matching the petals, okay? And then turn it around. And now we're starting to look like a butterfly, huh? Okay, so then what I do is take this little... Um, stamen that you folded in half and I'll add just a little dollop of glue either on the stamen or on the butterfly. And this, for sake of the video let's get it on the butterfly. Right in between these bottom two petals here kind of right up near the circle that half circle just kind of put a little dollop of glue and put your little stamen on there. Okay let that cool off a second. See we're getting little we're getting little antennas. Okay, and then we're going to put another dollop of glue kind of right there, right at kind of in the point, at the point of those little stamen there. We'll dollop of glue and we're going to grab that little piece of string we cut and we're going to kind of put the end right in that dollop of glue. And we're going to try not to burn our finger and kind of glue down that little end. And then basically what we're going to do is create the body of the butterfly and hold this together, okay? So what I do is I just bring my string nice and tight and I wrap it around through the center of the butterfly and through the center of the little antenna. 
and then I'll wrap it again and maybe go on one side of the antenna and wrap it again kind of come on the other side of the antenna and I'll wrap it through again just right get it and try and right over that raw edge that we glued on there okay wrap it nice and tight I see I don't have it tight enough I'm gonna rewrap okay and I'm gonna flip it over you got a little piece of thread left and I'm gonna put a little glue dot on the back bring my thread up and over onto that glue let it cool off a second okay and then we've got this little ugly little piece here of that thread that's left right here okay we're just gonna whack that off with some scissors okay got the back of your butterfly and then the front and you can kind of fiddle with your strings and make it a little bit tighter in the center because you don't want your um, antenna too um, too far apart here kind of fiddle with your strings a little bit bring them closer in cute little antenna out and there you go and actually I kind of like mine to be to the side a little bit and there you go you just have created your first little butterfly congratulations yay I hope that wasn't too difficult it's kind of a weird pattern but it works we get a butterfly and I love that it's dimensional okay I will put the pattern down below for you if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask I'll help you the best I can Get our other cute little butterflies up here. I know, right? So cute! I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye!